Hello everyone today, we are having heartbreaking news about funeral of Johnny Irwin. On Friday, Johnny Irwin's widow, Jessica Holmes, made the devastating announcement that her husband had passed away after a courageous fight against lung cancer. Johnny Irwin was 50 years old. Jessica referred to her cherished boyfriend, with whom she shares her boys Rex, who is five years old, and Rafa and Cormac, who are twins and are two years old, as truly remarkable on her favorite social media platform, Instagram. Johnny, a television broadcaster, disclosed in November that his cancer has gone to his brain several months after he was initially diagnosed with the condition in the year 2020. Friday was the day he passed away. In a prior conversation, Johnny described how the first sign of his disease that he noticed was a change in his vision. When he was traveling in Italy, the television host began to notice what he called weird gold spots. He was in the process of filming a place in the sun at the time. At the time, a member of the crew who was traveling with him in the vehicle expressed worry and drove him directly to the hospital, where he was informed that he had nodules surrounding his brain. After getting a trip back to the United Kingdom, Johnny rushed to the hospital immediately. It was within a few hours that I was informed that I had cancer, he claimed, and I responded with a right. It was then a few hours later that my close buddy Raghul was sitting with me when they informed me that the cancer was terminal and that I had just six months to live. When you hear the expression, it knocked the wind out of you, do you ever hear it? That had never happened to me before, and when it did, it was a surprise. The phrase, I was just beaten. The man who was a father to three children walked home in a disoriented condition as he battled to absorb the diagnosis and the scary thought of informing his wife Jessica about it. Through tears, Johnny expressed her disbelief, saying, I didn't think I was shakable like that. I was extremely shaken up, she said. I was required to go home, and I had to break the news to my wife, which was the most difficult thing I've ever had to do. It is as if I had been able to recall it from yesterday. Since I've been undergoing brain therapy, I have no recollection at all. Nonetheless, that bay asterisk 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 in memory continues to linger in my head, and it is horrifying. The only thing I can recall doing is hugging her and simply apologizing, and I am still feeling sorry about it now. When the physicians discovered that Johnny's cancer had a mutation, they gave him a two- to three-year lifeline. Johnny had been subjected to weeks of tests and received negative news. Johnny disclosed that the reason he had concealed his fight against cancer for a period of two years was so that he could maintain financial stability. His statement was as follows. The only reason I kept it a secret is because I have to earn money, I have to feed my babies, and I have to pay the bills. And as soon as you announce that you have cancer, people immediately disregard you, she said. I was forced to keep it a secret for a long time. While I was living with such a large cloud above me, it was quite challenging to pretend to everyone else that I was not there. I was able to work for the first year and a half of my life. Regrettably, one of the firms asserted that they were unable to provide insurance and so did not renew my contract. My income was severely impacted as a result of this. I had the impression that I had been discarded into the garbage. Within a week, they had recruited new employees, and after that, I could see someone else doing my job. As soon as I told a place in the sun about my diagnosis, they paid me for the rest of the season, but they did not renew my contract, he said in an interview with the sun. They were aware that I desired to proceed. That wound me. That caused my heart to break. Funeral date are not announced yet. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel.